So in the last episode, we have seen that how email verification, the new feature of Laravel is going to work and how you can implement that feature on your new Laravel 5.7 application. But how this is going to work on the Laravel end? Where is the implementation? Where is the functions? Where is the controller, middleware, everything? So let's go and see all these things in this episode. So in the last episode, we have used this um, you must verify email interface. It's an interface which means it just have the structure of the functions required for some feature which is our must verify email. So we have this function which is required, this is required and this is required. The first is has verified email. Second is mark email as verified and third is send email verification notification. But this is good but where actually functions are? Okay, so actually what you need to do, you need to go to this authenticate table and here in this file you can see it now uses this class actually uses a new trait which is called must verify email this is the trait and this trait has exactly that three functions which used on the interface you can see let's get these together so has verified email has verified email mark email as verified mark email as verified and notification sending so these things are there and we have seen that this feature is sending an email which looks like this but this email is sent via this notification which is verify email so if i open this notification you can see this is verify email address subject which is verify email address and this button verify email address button some somewhere is there action verify email address so this is actually the notification which is going to send an email for the verification that's good but when you uh, when you click on this button it will go to this url localhost slash email slash verify then the username this you can see this one is there one is actually the username so let's try to register one more user so that you can say gmail.com and it's registering and we should expect a new email which is going to get here and this time if you see the url which is having verify slash 2 which is actually the user id which we can see here 2 is there so this is the way this x uh, this uh, url is going to work and this url will actually going to work here but how our Laravel app knows that this URL has there and mark email as verified is going to trigger. For that, you need to now go to app, HTTP and the controllers, auth controller. And now we have a new auth controller which is called verify controller. As you can see, this verify controller uses various things. And the great important thing is that which is throttle six and one six time you can use these things and then it will block you for one minute that's good but how this is going to work so let's use this trait verify email trait which is actually have first function which is going to show the view and this is very important when i use this feature and let's try to go to profile yeah it says verify email address how this view came so this is came from here it says if the user has verified then redirect to the original path otherwise return the view auth dot verify which is this view but as soon as i click on this button i am verified now i can't see this view because this is saying that okay the person is verified so let's redirect to the intended page where the user want to go then when we clicked on this page then 
how it says that it is verified so now it says if the id route id which i have just showed here which is this two is matches with the user id that means the logged in user id then trigger mark email as verified and we have seen this function which is here mark email as verified so here we have to verify this i will die and dump uh, request route id and what i'm going to do now let me just use this and what i'm going to do now i'm just going to say this as null so that it now has uh, unverified email so yeah it's now unverified so what i'm going to do if i click here it just die and dump the two which is actually from this route so you can see this is actually the real function where this particular long one long route is going to trigger so let's remove that and after verifying which is just making the email verification verified at field with a new timestamp and then it will redirect to the original path so let's refresh once more and yeah we are on the home page and now we can easily see the profile which is here yeah this is good and the next version is recent suppose the user has somehow deleted the uh, email the user doesn't have the email so once more we need to make it null okay so yes we know that now we have this so now we can request another email so click here to re request another email so this will give you another email and that comes from here resend it says resend and send email verification notification again that function is from this trait and it's sending this email via notification and then go with the uh, resend and which is true which is here and this is actually the uh, message coming because of this with function so this is very useful things and now we have the new uh, email email verified and easily logged in we can easily now go to the profile again and this is very nice so this is the controller and the functions related to this new email verification but we also have one middleware which i have already showed you which is verified and if i go to this one it says you just need to say if the user is there and user is an instance of must verify email it is because of this interface we need to implement this interface on our user model that's why we have implemented here and it says it says if the user has is an instance of must verified email and the third important point has verified email if it is not verified then return with the route of notice notice is the actual route which is uh, for here resend route that one is but if the user is there with an instance of must verified email and is verified email then go with the intended path and whatever the wherever the user want to go so this is the middleware we need to use here we have gone deep dive into the new feature of email verification and we have seen how actually uh, this feature is introduced in a level 5.7 and i'm i'm sure this is going to enhance your knowledge about the level and the core thing about the level and and uh, encourage you to go deep into any feature you are going to use so that in somewhere you can uh, use these feature or you can actually uh, override thing one thing you uh, you can override there we know there is a trait of um, this must verify email so we can get that trait from here suppose you want to change this email sending that means you don't want this kind of feature you don't want very verify email address what you can do you can just use this function from here paste it into your user model and change it to your custom notification 
custom notification and then send that instead of sending this one so in that way you can just overwrite that's why i have created this video so that you can see and use these features of laravel easily so i'm sure if you have liked this episode you are going to share these videos with your friends and if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye